Hey everybody, DM Jim here, and welcome to a new episode of the Tabletop Engineer. Right now, I am running a weekly D&D game, and we are playing Descent into Avernus, which is the latest Wizards of the Coast uh, game release. And a few, quite a few episodes back, I'll put a link up here for you, I made this. This was one of the war machines um, that is run on Soul Coins. This was my take on it. Uh, I built this from some Lego bits and chipboard and toothpicks and that kind of stuff. And again, I'll link it up here so you can go take a look at this. But anyway, in this episode, I want to create some more. What I'm going to do is I raided my kid's toy chest. My oldest son used to play a game called Skylanders. Some of you may have heard of it. Some of you may have not. Skylanders was for various platforms. They played it on Xbox. And basically, it was one of those games where you can put a figure on the base and that figure would be, you know, would appear on screen and you could play. Some of those figures came with vehicles. And I don't remember the name of the Skylanders. There were different Skylanders games and there was one that had cars, had racing. Well, it just so happens, I just got lucky here. Uh, when I was going through my son's collection, and he doesn't play it anymore, I found these two. And they are perfect for converting over to Avernus-style vehicles. So in this episode, I'm going to do just that. Uh, I will give you information in the description below of which toys these are so that you might be able to go and hunt them down. They are not the only Skylanders vehicles, so there may be others out there that would be just as good. But these are the only two I have. So let's get to the work table and let's uh, let's get these converted over to um, War Machines. And before I start modding these things, I want to go ahead and glue the wheels because right now, as you can see, they roll. And that doesn't really make it easy sometimes to glue things on. So normally to glue uh, like the Hot Wheels cars, I would just do super glue down in the axles. But these are pretty large. And I don't know if the uh, super glue, how well that would do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some hot glue down in there on the bottom. You won't see it. The hot glue should keep these things from rolling. So there you go. That is two vehicles modified. These were Skylanders vehicles, Skylanders the video game. I modified them to make them into small uh, war vehicles for the Descent into Avernus adventure. Now these are really meant to be one person, 
Uh, there's just one driver's seat. I guess you could put, uh, you could modify it and add some stands and things for other miniatures to stand on. But these were really, I, I just wanted them to be one driver uh, only, as opposed to this one, which can hold one, two, and actually it could hold three. You could put two in there and one up there. So nothing real advanced here in terms of crafting ability. It was just using something that I had on hand and then adding spikes and some armor plating and some chain and things like that just to just to rev it up a little bit. These were toys, simple Skylanders toys. One thing I was really impressed with is the level of detail on these things. The rivets, uh, the upholstery on the seat, uh, just, I mean, they, they were really well done. Now, I'm going to put a link below to where you can go check out uh, all the different vehicles that are available. I looked at them, and there are some really cool ones that would fit perfectly with the Avernus setting. So these just I happen to have on hand because I took them from my kid's old toy chest. Right now, I'm pretty pleased with these. I'll take some close-up photos for you to show you a, a little more detail. I like this one better than this one. This one turned out okay. I had to add a lot of coats uh, of a darker bronze to take the gold tone down on this one. Now it's where I can take it. Other, it used to be bright, bright gold. Um, this one, I just, it just looks cool. I'm, I'm really pleased with how this one turned out, especially with the spikes and stuff. All right. I'll be back next Friday with another crafting video. I have something in mind that I think you'll like. Please come join me on the Facebook page, the Tabletop Engineer Facebook page. We are growing and growing, and it's really, uh, it's an, it's a fun place to um, post photos of projects you're working on and ask questions and things like that. And it's just a good group over there, a really good, uh, really good group of friends. If you like this video and want to see more, uh, not just here on Friday Craft videos, but more videos in all, I have a new Patreon, and I'll put a link below. It's called patreon.com slash the tabletop engineer. For a dollar a month, you will gain access to all kinds of stuff. I am putting out content almost daily. I, I record videos. I do book reviews, game reviews, more crafts. Right now, I'm working on the Dwarven Fortress uh, project, which is a, about a two-foot-tall Dwarven Fortress that I'm making out of chipboard and foam. It's really starting to look cool. And perfect time for you to jump in if you enjoyed the videos and please consider supporting me as a patron and you'll gain access to those videos, live chats, more project videos. Um, starting in January, uh, even right now, actually in December, I'm really revving it, revving up the, uh, the site. But come January, uh, if you want more than a, just a Friday video, that's going to be the place to go. Again, most of it is patron exclusive stuff, but if you come and join me, I have giveaways and some other surprises in store, so I hope you'll consider joining. And then finally, Bexham's Bazaar Magazine, issue number 13, year number two starts on January 1st, and the issue's starting to come together really well. Uh, more information in the description below if you want to become a subscriber. Issue six is free. You can get a, a link below to get it and take check it out. Uh, but um, definitely would love to have you as a subscriber to that monthly magazine. comes out on the first of each month. All right, that's all I have for you. Again, I'll be back next week with a new Friday crafting video. Have a great weekend. Take care.